Hi, thank you for watching our videos. Today I'm uh, doing my training for the Sensei exam with three Shidosh. Shidosh with Nogueira, Shidosh with Lana Galende and Shidosh Jordan. And they have given me a very interesting gift, which is a very powerful concept of close range defense using the katana. This technique is called Hasen, Ha, come from Nami or wave, and Sen come from line, so it will be like wave lane or curvy lane. This line, or curved line, is based on the trajectory that the uh, suka and the gravity center of the sword is going to exhibit when we're doing anki, or we're doing our draw of the sword. Uh, this technique was developed by the Shisen in the forest of bamboo, when the space was really uh, reduced and you don't have enough uh, space to make big cuts or big anki. So the Shisen relies on the fact that even when the other warriors has their weapons completely drawn, it can be a katana, it can be a yari or spear, uh, even when they have their swords already out, using the bamboo and the close range, the advantage of having the sword out is not going to be completely fulfilled. So, the, the main concept is to try to make our enemy to think that he actually can reach us, and just by the very, very final end of the technique, when the sword is almost going to go against us, we are going to do a very special nuki. This nuki is based on the fact that we are going to do a really, really close sayabiki, and just uh, in this really close range, our mine is going to be aligned with our shoulders, and we are going to change the direction really quick. So, this is going to be uh, a really short range and a really fast draw. So, but this technique can only work if the timing is perfect. So now with the help of the Sensei Rebecca Roca, thank you so much Sensei, she's going to help us to understand this concept. For example, please Sensei, can you uh, perform a slow que seguiría against my neck please? So, you see, she's going to attack me in this direction, so she's trying to reach my neck. So, um, I have my sword sheathed, she has already her sword out, so I need her to think that she actually is going to reach me here and just at the very, very, very end, I'm going to make my cut, make the cut and cut. It to be in a really, really short uh, my really short distance. This technique can also be done against other weapons, like for example, the yari. One of, of the char characteristics of this weapon is the very fast and long range attack, the, the tsuki. So she can actually perform tsuki, keep going, and in order to be able to do it again, she's going to go back fast and go again until she reaches me. I need to be just in the middle, in the sync up of these uh, strikes, in order to be able to reach her body. So, if I move too quickly, when she comes, I move too quickly, she can then uh, arrange his position and her, and her timing and reach me. So, I need her to think that she actually can come at me and just at the very very end I need to have my sword literally drawn here it's going to be here against my shoulder and end up in a very fast way in a really short range of course it should be performed way faster and of course the ability of the Kenshin to draw the sword using just this very special uh, small space is really, really, really difficult. So, it was a really interesting treasure of the season people that using the environment and just trying to use the less amount of uh, movement possible to take this close range into uh, an advantage for them. We can also go against the Nagi, the Nagi Nata, which is going to be the same thing, which is going to look at me, look at the distance of this weapon. So, I cannot, when she starts to, to move, I cannot move at this moment because she's going to, then she, she can turn and arrange 
her attack. So I need her to think that she's going to reach me. I'm just at the very, very, very end. Move up here and come and cut. This is a, a very powerful move. Uh, movement, a really fast way to, to, to solve the encounter and to solve the, the, the conflict. And I really hope that you have uh, enjoyed this very particular and anthropological treasure of the season, the people. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.